clearing up after a light rain fell most of the afternoon. The weather's approaching 49 degrees, so we've got a brisk West Virginia evening ahead of us. Wrap up tight and settle in, folks. This is 104.3 WBCK, the Basswood Sound. I'm your host, Carrie Hammond. Coming up after a short break, mental health expert Dr. Wick will discuss the recent opioid epidemic that's been affecting. Time to kill before the funeral. Might as well spend it here. This place was always one for decisions. Somewhere for things to fall apart. Welcome back to Basswood, Sam. I came up here every chance I could. One of the all-time great views. Really makes a small town look big. I'm not sure Nick would even want me at his funeral, given how I left things. I remember spending entire summers on the banks fishing with Nick. My hometown. It felt more imposing in my nightmares. Strange to think of basswood without its mine. I think the massive cliff face would be a giveaway. I get the feeling it still sees some use, given how bad the coverage is up here.
Hunting is another tradition I could never get behind. Just don't see the appeal. Some of these species are endangered. She wrote an article about it. These trails were great to walk if you wanted to feel truly alone. A lot of people were upset when it closed, but not upset enough to fix it. I left a sandwich in it for a whole week once. Dad never let me forget it. I used to love looking at basswood from up here. It helped give me perspective. Until that day. Why can't the real world be as clear and peaceful as my own mind? Even if it does mean nothing stays hidden in here. Not even me. I, uh, I've been meaning to ask you something. Don't freak out. Would you be my little girl's godfather? I, I wouldn't trust anyone else with this. And yet I stopped taking his calls. He even called once the day before he died. I'll never know what he wanted to talk to me about. I, uh, I've been meaning to ask you something. Don't freak out. Would you be my little girl's godfather? I, I wouldn't trust anyone else with this. And yet I stopped taking his calls. He even called once the day before he died. I'll never know what he wanted to talk to me about. This is Anna. She works freelance. Uh, does a lot of the human interest pieces. What can I say? I'm interested in humans and their pieces. <laughs> what do you like to write? I gotta run to a review with Walt. You two feel free to chit chat. And Sam, be nice. I had never met someone so interested in others, even in me. The story is important. You know I think that. It's just. People around here have short tempers and long memories. Be careful. Sam, are you even listening to me? I heard you, Anna. But no, I wasn't listening.
Come on, Anna, look at this. <laughs> what is it? Someone skinny dipping? Anna, you really need to see this. I can't even see. Something's blocking it. Sam, what are you doing? I'm trying to be romantic. What? Wait. Please don't tell me you're proposing. I'm down on one knee, a ring. What else would I be doing? You look like I just ran over your grandma. Okay, the silence is really starting to scare me now. Anna, please say something. Sam, put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. You should know that. We've discussed it before. We weren't happy. She was the one brave enough to face that. Lost in my head again. How much time did I miss? I missed the funeral. Maybe it's for the best. On the bright side, Nick's not alive for me to let him down again. There seems to be something here. Lovers scarring a tree to write down their initials. Always seems twisted to me. Sorry, Walter, but I don't think I'll stick around. Given up already? Just a quick, depressing jaunt down memory lane and then you're gone? I know you think that the only thing waiting for you down there is hurt. Lots of hurt. And you might be right. But it's been two years. It's time to face the world. Time to adult. The good news, though, at least you don't have to do it alone.
Lost the signal. Some things never change. actually came. It's been a while. You've gotten taller. Can we talk? We're talking right now. It's cold. So... You left. Joan, that's not fair. You left. Look, Joan, I messed up. You said you wouldn't leave. You said... You said... I don't remember exactly, but you pinky swore. I didn't mean to lie. I just screwed up. After Anna broke up with me, I'm... I'm sorry. I wish words meant anything. I wish this didn't make it harder for you to trust me now. You could have at least called something. Especially after... You know... After my dad. I don't know what to say to that. You're right. I wasn't in a state where I could reach out to anyone. I'm still not. If Nick hadn't died, I never would have come back. Thanks for being honest. <laughs> You're always at least honest. Listen, I, uh... I wanted to talk to you about what happened to Dad. It doesn't make sense. He wouldn't have just crashed. He drove like a grandma, you know that. It's wrong. I don't buy it. I'm just in town for the funeral, Joan. I'm not a PI or a cop. You're the closest thing I can talk to. Will you just look into it, Muley? Please? She wants her father's death to mean something. But where does that lead? What if it leads to the truth? That could change everything. An hour ago, you wanted to run away. Now you want to start another investigation? A few questions won't hurt anyone. Just tonight. To reassure her. And myself. This is a wake. If you poke around, people may end up poking back. Okay, whatever you do, at least leave the kid out of it. It would be cruel to lead her on. Friends don't lie to each other even if it means disappointing her again? It's your call. <sighs> I wish it didn't happen too, Bug, but sometimes life just isn't fair. I thought he meant something to you, too.
he did mean something to me. He was my best friend. But you can't fix this by trying to force pieces that don't fit together. Whatever. I'm tired. If my mom asks, I'll tell her I went home. Might as well talk to Walter. I'll have to, sooner or later. Yes, the cat food is under the sink. Yes, yes it is, Mother. Trust me. Oh, Samuel is here. I'll call you back. Samuel Higgs, as I live and breathe. Has it really been over two years? Regardless, I'm so glad you finally made it. It's good to see you. What kept you? A trip down memory lane. I missed the funeral, but I made it to Nick's wake. You have to bring it in for a hug. It's a basswood back in town requirement. So good to see you, even if I wish the circumstances were different. In times like these, we need the comforting touch of others. At least I do. Still not a fan of being touched? <laughs> Is anyone? We're big huggers out here. Big huggers. We never understood that. Also, have you spoken to Anna lately? No, why? Um, no reason. If you get the chance, we should catch up. We should really catch up. I'll see you inside. ready for this. Here we go. Mr. Samuel Higgs, big shot investigative reporter. Didn't think you'd ever be back in here. I'd gladly slash your tires. But that mean you couldn't leave town. And you are leaving town right after this, right? Because if you aren't, well, Nick's memory only goes so far. That's what I thought. Come on, it ain't worth it. 
Making friends already, I see. Declan, been a while. Hey, careful. I'd rather not be working tonight. And you always seem to anger up everyone's blood. I'm only here to pay my respects to Nick. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, shame that. You watch yourself. I think it's time I go put up a photo at the memorial board. That's what people do, right? He's owned this bar for almost a decade and still can't afford another employee. Uh, not really. You just quoted him a couple of times. Walter can be overwhelming at times, but he means well. Then you should read Great Expectations. It's a masterpiece, plain and simple. That's the guy who got the mine closed. I can't believe he showed up after what happened. Old-timers in general already don't like me, and the article just made it worse. Hey Sam, why don't you drink to Nick on the other side of the bar? That's where Nick and I sat every time he dragged me out for drinks after work. Ages. Tara? Oh, me? I've had this stomach thing lately, always churning. Uh... And this thing with Nick, his car went up like a Sunday ham. He burned alive, you know. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Um, no. The infamous Sam. I've read that article you wrote on the mine. You must have put in a lot of legwork on that. It took reading thousands of public records, but a pattern emerged of willful negligence. You are a bulldog. A dangerous man to anyone using power to exploit others. That's nice of you to say. Oh, don't hesitate to drop by the pharmacy sometime. Oh, and Sam, you... But for now, I have a feeling you're not here for us. Oh, oh, right. Don't be a stranger, Sam. There was no love lost between Kathy and Nick since their divorce, but anyone can see she's taking his death hard. Kathy, uh... Sam, you actually came. You. You got some nerve. Joan texted me. Says she already went home after you upset her. I was just... I don't know. Look, Joan was really hurt when you left town. Nick and I were never close after the breakup, and Jones never had a lot of friends. Yeah. Um. Maybe don't break her heart this time when you leave town. All right? Hard to make promises. I don't do well with those in Joan. I've noticed. But I'll try. Sam, I'm gonna hold you to that. Sorry we lost touch. Sorry I lost touch. Rest up, big guy. This photo always looked weird. Nick could never keep a straight face. He was more her best friend than a dad.
happier times. I wonder who took that picture. Bug was so small back then. We drove straight to the sea after work on a Friday. Hell of a weekend. Those two were a great team. Samuel, guess I lost the bet. Bet? Yeah, that bet you'd never come back to Basswood. Not after you went careening out of town like a bat out of hell the instant that article broke bad. That wasn't the reason I left town. Oh, you think it was that girl of yours? <laughs> you left because the town hated your guts. What are you even doing here, Dennis? You and Nick become friends or something? Nope. He thought I was a drunk, which I am. And I thought he was a hack, which he was. This coming from the IT guy. Didn't know resetting passwords could give you a journalism degree. It can. But it does give me less patience for people who sling mud my way. Relax. I'm just playing. <laughs> At least tell me how you've been. If you must know, I still haven't bounced back from when Anna and I broke up. I think you mentioned she broke up with you. Yeah, but I hear you. Yeah, that's how I ended up in this shit town. Chasing a woman. Yeah, then she left and I got stuck here with two kids. Anyway, cheers to Nick. A man that, unlike us, people actually liked. Speaking of which...
can't believe this whole thing's still working. Nick and I spent so much money on this machine. Has it really been two years since I saw her? She hasn't changed a bit. Anna? Sam! I've missed you. Why did it take so long for you to darken my doorstep? I won't lie, it really hurt coming back. I stopped by Lookout Point on the way here. Sam, why'd you do that to yourself? A desire to open old wounds. The old timers gave me hell when I came in too. People around here have short tempers. <laughs> and long memories. But most of them mean well. Sam, the mine was gonna close anyways. Maybe in a year or two, five, if the Lord has a sense of humor. It was gonna run dry or have an even bigger disaster. It wasn't your fault. I wish everyone else understood that. People are scared, mad. You were easy to blame. When my father lost his legs, nobody knew the mine wasn't following regulations. You were the only one who started asking questions. Whenever people talk about you, he always says, you did the right thing. Yeah, well, your dad's... Joe. He's an oak. Unmoving and annoyingly supportive. <laughs> it wasn't just him. Nick thought your piece was great. He was actually jealous. He always wanted to write something that shook the pillars of heaven, as he used to put it. You know, Nick and I had moved in together. It started to get serious. But I think it's only now I realize how much I cared for him. But you and Nick started going out? When did this happen? A few months ago. He... He never told you? He asked me to let him be the one to say something. You two had been so close. He probably tried. I hadn't been answering his calls. Ah. That's the worst part, right? Anything broken just stays broken now. But this, th this was all nice. The funeral, the wake. Walter did a good job. But it all just makes me feel heavy 
It makes my heart hurt. Like Nick's memory has been laid on top of me and I'm still carrying him. Nick's death. Do you know if he had any enemies? Working on anything dangerous? Whew. Now this is a real can of worms. This is a wake. I know that. Do you? This isn't the time to be digging and pushing. You always do this. You always, I, I get it. I just, you, you're still you, huh? You'll always still be you, Sam. I hope you never change, but I can't handle this right now. I'm gonna go home. I hate that his stuff is all over my house. Then drink and cry all night. You do what you need to do. See you around. Samuel, come, have a round with me. I need a drink or two, or three, and then I'll go. That's what crooked promises for you. That amount is damaging for the long term. There was no love lost between Kathy and Nick since their divorce, but anyone can see she's taking his death hard. Pretty courageous of him to try his luck in Basswood, given the state of things. Some people can play this game drunk. Anna was best at three beers. Walter can be overwhelming at times, but he means well. So, Nick wasn't drunk, and me? I was drunk as a skunk. Ah, Samuel, 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 join us. We were just sharing stories about dear Nicholas. And let me get your next round. Maybe Ethan has a suggestion for a worthy spirit? Ah, oh, spirits? Oh, no, no. Friends drink beer. Yes, I suppose that's fitting. To dear Nicholas. Yeah, he'd been coming in a lot lately. Sat right there, with a bad dad joke or two. <laughs> with friends, I guess? Maybe Anna. No, well, by himself, with his laptop as his date. He never drank alone. You two were close, though, right? Tell me about the man outside the bar. He had a terrible memory. Couldn't remember names, dates, passwords. Kept his notes squirreled around him like a horde. We got married young and had a kid, then broke up and dated my ex. And they were happy, in love. Anna clearly cared about him a lot. Oh, my boy, you can't compare lives, just like you can't compare pain. They just simply are. The friend of man, the friend of truth, the friend of age and guide of youth. Few hearts like his with virtue warmed, few hearts with knowledge so informed. If there's another world, he lives in bliss. If there is none, he made the best of this. Burns, that from your eulogy? You know Robert Burns? And no, just something I keep on hand for toasts. Oh, it's a good choice. And sorry about that, Sam. I wasn't trying to bring you down. 
Everyone liked him. I think even Dennis liked him somewhat. He always had a lot of friends. A few who couldn't make it sent flowers. How's the family taking it? Kathy seems haunted. Spread overly thin, and I saw Joan storming off. Kathy has a lot to deal with, now more than ever. But who can prepare for losing a parent? Not a soul. Not a single soul. I'd say that went well, ish. You got to chat with everyone you've been avoiding. Even if Joan got inside your head with her whole dad mystery death thing, just shut up. Coming back to Basswood was your idea. You're the one in the driver's seat, Sam. I can't make you do anything. Deep down, you've been looking for a reason to come back. <sighs> It's gonna be one of those long nights inside your head, huh? Stop, stop pushing me. Stop always poking at me. You just won't quit. I'm trying to help. And helpful tip number 602, beer doesn't solve any of this. You're back out in the world, feeling emotions, fitting in. That's progress. Fuck the world. Pointless talking and more talking and no one says what they mean. Go away. Let me enjoy being miserable. Just try and make sure you don't do anything stupid. No promises. 